long as Jake here with a different kind of video. I'm actually going to be starting this series where it's more of just a chat. You guys know I like to do that. I kind of go off on tangents even when I'm doing a video on a topic. So this is going to be where I do that. You don't expect me to stay put. I'm going to be everywhere chatting about anything that flings foam. And that is going to be the series title. Is Mungus Jake's Foam Flinging Chats. And I will actually make this be one of the first series where I do include at least one episode a month being a live episode. Where you'll get to actually interact with me consistently. And I might make that be the long one. Like a 30 minute episode. Let me know if that actually appeals to you. Because if it does then that will become a routine on this channel where I dedicate like one day a month, maybe twice. We'll see how it goes, see if it has any any traction here. But at least once a month, I will do a live one and then once a recorded one. This is going to be the first pilot episode, we'll say, so it's going to be recorded. And I'm going to stick with the company that everybody knows me for, Busby. I've just recorded, literally just recorded five minutes ago, my overlooked and underrated blaster episode featuring the Busby Tyrant. And this is something I wanted to get to for quite some time, and I should have a long time ago. What happened to Busby's Air Max line? Of course, that featured the Tyrant. It featured its little brother, the Boss. And those two, I find to be... Two of the best Mega Blasters ever made. It also had the Baron in it. And the Baron is really, really underrated itself. It will probably end up featured... I'll probably actually do a Air Max kind of sequence on that. Featuring the Tyrant as the headliner, the boss next, and then the Baron. I think all rightfully heavily underrated. Some modders love them, but in, by and large, people I've seen people who bought Nerf lots, and they're like, what is this thing? And it, it's a Busby Baron, or the Boss. They're like, I didn't know there was such a thing as a Mega Pistol that had a magazine. It's like, of course there is. It's the better Magnus. And yes, that's how I feel. And that says a lot, because I love the Magnus. It was my favorite Nerf Mega Pistol ever made. Still is, to this day. Well, what happened? If the pistols and the Tyrant primary were that good, what happened to Busby's Air Max line? And that is, of course, the topic of this foam flinging chat here with me, Mongoose Jake. Marketing. Let's just boil it down. Marketing is what happened. Nerf is so marketing heavy. They have such a name put out there. Especially if you go back in time. Transport yourself to 2015. Busby's kind of re-emergence. Of course, they've been around since 2003. And really, since 2004, when the full line was introduced, they stayed kind of gimmicky for a long time. Nobody really took them as a serious competitor to Nerf. Then came the Brute. Then came the Champion, the Reaper, the Sentinel. And people started taking note. At least us in the Nerf community. Well, consumers as a whole still didn't. They're still they're still looking at this like, what's this other brand over here? It's like, oh, here here's the Nerf section. Uh, here's this brand called Boomco. Here's this brand called X Shot. Here's this one called Busby, and here's this one called Dart Zone. And people didn't know any of those. They just knew Nerf. Well, Busby introduces this Air Max line to compete with Nerf's Mega line. So far, one of the only true attempts to compete with the Mega line, which, for those of you who don't know me, the Mega line is my favorite line ever created from Nerf. Because I like, I like the designs. I like the big, oversized blasters that, you know, they fire big ammo that hits hard. And that's it's kind of me. It's, I'm blunt. <laughs> I, I tell you exactly how it is. And I like the blasters to be kind of like that. Well, everything that Nerf put out, barring the Mastodon, which still is my favorite mega blaster from Nerf, 
Barring that, Busby basically beat everything that they offered. You had the the big shot and the hot shot. Well, the Baron's better than those. You had the Magnus. The boss is better than that. Uh, that's, you know, of course, opinionated. Some people are going to prefer the form factor of the Magnus. But I, I, I see the boss as better. Because if you want a slimmer profile, you keep the three-round magazine that the boss came with. It's still a little chunkier than a Magnus, and that's really the selling point of the Magnus, is slim. But this is easier to upgrade. And if you do want to run this as a primary, you can throw a six-round Nerf mag or the 12-round mag from the Tyrant in it. It accepts both. So you have three, six, or 12. Very nice option. And then, of course... You've got the, the flagship of the line, the Tyrant, which at the time this was out, the competitor to it was a Centurion. Keep that in mind. This was, this was introduced right before the Roto Fury came out. Now, this versus the Roto Fury, that's an interesting discussion. And there are benefits and drawbacks to both. And I would put that as a more equal term. I would still pick this over it because of mags, capacity, because it says 12 round capacity versus the 10 round of the of the Roto Fury, despite me being a Roto Fury fan. The Roto Fury's one advantage, slam fire. That's it. That is it. It has a reliable mechanism with slam fire. This has a reliable mechanism with 12 round mags. This thing Actually, if you're going to run a mega primary, this thing is by far and away superior outside of Slamfire. And if you are a pump action only and don't like top prime, that's a personal choice. It's not an advantage or a disadvantage in my mind because I actually like top prime. I don't consider a pump action an advantage. Personal preference. So at the time, you had the Centurion. The Road of Fury was coming out. So you would say this one was at least equal to the Roto Fury and significantly better than the Centurion. More power, more reliability, more capacity, I mean literally 12 compared to 6, and it was half the retail price. That thing you were buying for 50 to $60. This, even when it was brand new, just released, you could find it for 20 and 25 routinely. That's... How can you compare a Tyrant to a Centurion? But yet, the Centurion outsold the Tyrant. And it wasn't even close. The sales on the Air Max line, with these fantastic blasters, were so poor, the line got pulled. And that was the reason. They didn't get pulled because of production issues. They didn't get pulled because of quality control issues. They didn't get pulled because of anything wrong with the product. They got pulled due to sales. And I am not hypothesizing on that. That is after speaking to the, the VP there at Busby. They pulled that line due to lack of sales. That was actually from a conversation a few years ago I had with them. And it, it was disheartening. The only reason they pulled it was be, not because they didn't like the line. They thought they had a good, they genuinely believed they had a good product. And 100% they did. They pulled it due to lack of sales. Now, would Busby partnering with Walmart in a licensing deal under the Adventure Force brand give a chance at new life? That's what I would like to to hope for. The, the fact that maybe they could be reintroduced. Not something I've even... Now, I haven't even talked about that with Busby, but under the Adventure Force line, because I'm not, I don't want to put out an idea that I have any kind of pull with Busby. They're willing to chat with me. They're willing to hear me out, but doesn't mean they're going to take my word as any kind of worth. Uh, they're just very, very friendly and easy to deal with. And But with the ability for them to put blasters under the Adventure Force line, in Walmarts, Walmart could sneak that product right beside the Nerf Megas. And it's like, huh, Mega 
better performance, lower cost in the Adventure Force line. They're already doing that with everything else. I mean, I mean, come on, with Dart Zone's products being put under the Adventure Force line, I mean, now we're going to have something that's better than the Strife coming up here soon through Dart Zone. You've already got X-Shot making the Destroyer Pistol, which is better than the Nerf Disruptor. Busby's got the Springers figured out. They could reintroduce the Tyrant. The boss, the Baron, under the Adventure Force line. Updated color schemes, same shells. Introduce a attachable stock for the Tyrant. People would love that, I think. So what happened to the Air Max line? Just didn't sell. Nerf's marketing, I'm just going to say it, it brainwashed enough people to buy their product over a superior product from a competitor at a lower price. Because there is no, there's no hiding it. Busby's Air Max line was better than Nerf's Mega line. And it just didn't sell. And that's the sad thing about people trying to take on the giant. Sometimes the giant's going to clobber the little guy. You know, maybe the little guy can come back and sneak in a, a very, uh, very kind of roundabout way to make a comeback. I'd like to see that personally because as you as you guys know there's more Busby than there is Nerf in my collection and that it's not going to change. The Tyrant was the best Mega Blaster ever made to this point in time. The Boss is the best Mega Pistol. Because you want to say Cyclone Shock shoot six we well, can put a six round mag in the boss. You can easily modify them. They're fantastic when stock. They fit everybody. The grips on these are some of the best Busby's ever made. Even for my extra large size hands. So, I would love to see this line make a return. It only lost out due to, due to poor sales. And Nerf still hasn't upped their game as far as the spring powered Megas. I think these still would rate as some of the best on the market if they were reintroduced unchanged right now in 2020. Eh, there's always 2021. We can always hope for that. But this is Longest Jake with my first edition of my foam flinging chats. And of course this time was the focus on what happened to Busby's Air Max line. And could there be a future for it? If you enjoyed this, let me know. Uh, if you stuck to the end of the... If you've stuck all the way to the end, please let me know what you think of this. I would love to get some feedback. I'm going to come back to some old series. I had some good ideas for some new series like this one. And I want to make this channel become a little more interactive as it grows. I'm getting close to that 2,000 subscriber mark. So if you like my stuff, I've never asked this before. And I will now. If you do enjoy my content, please share it around. I don't want to spam things and self-promote. That's not who I am. But if you genuinely like what, what I do, please share it around. And I'm only asking that if you genuinely enjoy it. That's why I'm asking at the end of the video. I, because I hate those YouTubers who do that at the start. So in conclusion, thank you for watching. And I truly do hope that you enjoyed this. And... If you do want to see this in a live format, let me know that comment section below. I'm Mongoose Jake. Thanks for watching.